Hey, what is going on, everybody? V.me here. Here with another talk session. Basically, we had some guides go up in the past. Uh, that went pretty well, I'd like to say. Um, that being the overexplained Mama Tick boss fight guide and the giant guide as well. And ever since then, we've got a lot of requests to do more. And in all honesty, I've wanted to talk about the bosses more. And now I've tried to find the time to do that. At least to start with Conjunctivius. Uh, conjunct, previously known as Conjunctivitis. Previously known as Conjunctivius. Uh, now the official name is Conjunctivius. You can pause the screen on the load and see what it looks like. Uh, Conjunctivius is the third boss in the first set of bosses. Uh, that being in terms of difficulty as well, it being more difficult than both Mama Tick and Concierge, but it's in the first set that you come across. Uh, you get to Concierge from going the Ancient Sewers route. Uh, once you beat that, once you get to, I want to say, three boss cells, you can actually reach Conjunctivius from the ramparts. Uh, and sometimes you want to do that over Concierge. I mean, you don't have to, but there's a couple reasons why that we might get into a little later. As I say, Conjunctivius can definitely be seen as a difficult boss. I actually think it's probably one of the more difficult bosses in the game. Just behind the Hand of the King and possibly just behind Timekeeper as well. So Conjunctivius, even though it's such a difficult boss, it technically doesn't have a lot of attacks to it. Uh, the first attack is a dash. The dash has a red laser line that shows you the route that she goes. And for the most part, it never ever moves away from that line, despite what you may do to it. Um, for example, if you snare it, it will most likely still continue through that line. If you do the freeze, it may also continue through. Um, so just be careful and make sure you move out of the way when that happens. Uh, the other cool thing about this horizontal attack is that it's very parryable. Um, so much so, as long as you're facing the boss, the game will probably give you the parry. Uh, the only time it won't is if she is, for example, directly over top of you, underneath you, or if you happen to get stunned by some kind of, uh, like, long drop from the top of the map, and you won't be able to get a parry off then. But if you can parry it, it's usually a good idea to do so. Especially as the very first attack that Conjunctivius does. As a matter of fact, as soon as you open the door and walk through, you might see Conjunct moving all over the screen. But typically, if you stay in that spot, her first attack is the dash. And when you're using a shield, that gives you a really easy parry. Almost to the point where you can really learn parries off of that first attack. The timing of it's pretty nice too. As long as she's not directly over your head, I say go for that because you could get the poison. You could get plus 300% bonus damage. Could get a lot of stuff if you land that parry. Another one of Conjunctivious attacks is th this red aura. The aura itself has a pretty big tail to it. There's a giant red ring. When you see that, you should probably just back up immediately. Uh, your chance of doing anything in the time that it takes for it to charge up is pretty slim, so you may as well just back away when you get the chance. The aura only lasts for a very short time, Conjunctivius doesn't move anywhere. It also cannot be parried, so do not try that as well. The only way you can stop it is with some sort of displacement, sort of like Wave of Denial, or maybe even Spartan Sandals. Um, her second attack, she does a missile uh, in the very first stage of the game it's just a single multi-shot around her after that as the fight continues she will use multiple shots one after the other and they alternate from their starting point 
Um, so it is a starburst for formation, but you can imagine she kind of like spins it for the second starburst. Uh, these can also be parried. Uh, you can dodge roll through them, but remember there's when it becomes more than one missile, you may not be able to dodge roll the second missile that fires at you. That one may require you to duck the first and then de dodge roll. Maybe you jump instead of doing dodge rolls. Uh, or as I said, you do the parry. But typically, it's not the most deadly attack in our arsenal. If you're playing on 4BC+, plus, it can really stack on the malaise, so you really want to be careful with it regardless. But for the most part, it's just probably akin to the Arbiter. It's a starburst that once you see how you're going to dodge it, just keep doing that and you'll probably be fine. Uh, the next attack that Conjunctivius does is what we like to call a Toho attack, a bullet hell, where she basically goes up to the top of the screen, all the platforms go away, and bullets rain down from Conjunct. Uh, there's typically no safe spot on the floor, even though some of the formations do create safe spots. But for the most part, you don't really want to get the habit of walking to a specific point and just standing there. Uh, typically, the way how I like to handle it is I will go into the corner. That way I can utilize the wall if I need to uh, jump around. I can do a dodge roll forward. I can duck where necessary. And I don't have to worry about dodging backward into a missile by mistake. Of course, these can also be parried. But sometimes the parry is a little wonky. Uh, so you also have the option of just holding triangle. If you think you're going to get hit, a matter of fact, if you already lost no hit, don't forget with a shield, you can full block attacks. So you may find it better that you just go into the corner, hold the triangle button, point towards the center, and then block whatever you can. On 4BC, you won't even take malaise for doing that. Uh, besides Conjunct, there's another set of monsters that appear, and those are the tentacles. Tentacles you will find in the regular Ancient Sewers map, and those will also appear in the Conjunct fight. Those tentacles, I believe the number is five that spawn. They appear when Conjunctivius does the scream, which is normally like around 75% or so of her health. You have to deal with all five tentacles at basically the same time. Now, every single time this happens, one tentacle will dash off to what should be the opposite side of the screen. That said, you can basically cut the screen in half. There's a left hand quadrant and a right hand quadrant. If your character is in the left, the tentacle should go all the way to the right and then do a dash attack towards the player and then vice versa if you're on the other side. Uh, that dash attack can be parried. You can also double jump to go over it. And of course, you can dodge roll through it. So there's multiple ways to deal with it, but you have to remember that it's coming. So if you use a dodge roll on the regular tentacles on the floor, you may not have it for the dashing tentacle. That's where you might double jump. That's where you might parry. Maybe you have a wolf trap. You could throw that down. Uh, but remember that dash always happens. So no matter if you have the boy axe or whatever, it's still going to start charging as soon as that wears off. Once a tentacle dies, then all the tentacles go underground. They sort of level up a little bit. Uh, let's say they go from blue to a light purple. And from there, they gain speed. Uh, the attack speed as they come up from the ground is faster and the dash across the screen is faster. So whenever I deal with these, typically I like to stand uh, mostly in the center. I mean, I don't run as soon as I do a kill, but if I help it, I try to make sure I know where I am. I watch to see which way the tentacle is dashing from. 
You can tell because you can see the dirt moving in a direction away from you. And then that's gonna come back. Uh, and most of the time, I run towards the dashing tentacle. I either dodge roll through it or I parry it, depending on whatever weapon I have. And then after that, I will fight the tentacles normally on top of that one that just dashed. Uh, you get the kill. They level up again. You do another dash. You handle that the exact same way. It's just a little faster. And then once they're all dead, you can fight the conjunct again. Uh, in regards to getting the no hit, it's really about understanding how to kill Conjunctivius before she does the bullet hell, and then how to deal with tentacles with whatever weapon you have. Uh, speaking of weapons, a lot of weapons struggle without some sort of assistance. Now that's not to say that weapons are particularly bad in this fight. You can almost say that every weapon is bad against Conjunctivius. It's just a matter of like how you actually plan to land those hits. So for example, if you're playing survival, broadsword, scythe, flint, a lot of those weapons struggle to hit Conjunctivius. Uh, but if you combine that with an ice grenade, a wolf trap, or a stun grenade, all of a sudden Conjunctivius is 10 times easier. As far as the tentacles go, those skills do the exact same thing. They stop a tentacle in its place and allow you to get the combos out. But those slow weapons still do relatively okay. You just have to be careful on landing an attack before a tentacle comes out of the ground. As a side note, it's also possible to parry a tentacle as it's coming up out of the ground. So long as your character is looking in that direction. You actually don't even have to move if a tentacle is burrowing towards you. It will attack up exactly where it can be parried. Uh, if you're playing Brutality, for example, you may have a Wrenching Whip. You may have a Hayabusa Gauntlet. All of those are really hard to fight conjunct with. But when you pair that with, say, a Boyax, or you pair it with a Phaser, Maybe you're using melee mutation for a little bit of a slow. All of those are helpful in keeping up with conjunct. For the brutality especially, you want to be extra sticky in that fight. You want to just chase conjunctivious wherever she is, which, you know, the platforming might take a little bit of work, uh, but once you get used to it, there's only so many places she can hide. And when you're playing brutality, those weapons are typically faster than others so you just have to land as many hits as you can before she goes away uh, then when you're playing tactics same scenario if you're using a bow could also be pretty difficult to land all the shots say marksman for example when she's going all over the map you may only have a couple of opportunities to actually use your marksman bow so that's where the skills come in real handy you may have a knife stand, so you want to get right on top of conjunct before you press L2. You may have a great owl, and in that scenario, you want to stay as close to conjunct as you can, so that way the owl can continually do hits. And then turrets are sometimes hit or miss. A lot of turrets actually won't hit conjunct no matter where you are because they can't acquire the target. Like if they're right above the turret, for some reason they just don't shoot up. Barnacle can, double crossbow does a little bit of a better job about it. Uh, but some turrets that actually just go on the floor, take a cleaver or a crusher, when you place them on the center platform, could actually do pretty well because conjunct often goes through the center. You just have to be there when the crusher applies the slow or when the cleavers are doing their maximum damage and you try to get in damage at the same time. Of course, versus the tentacles, bows really have an easy time. You can attack a tentacle as it's dashing to you, get a kill, and that's like your primary target is killing the one that's dashing. Or if you're using a turret, you can focus on dodging all the tentacle attacks while the turret does all the work. Another uh, small hint.
hint is that the emergency door also works really well versus the tentacles. They can't actually pass through the door. It's like a wall to them. So if you are on the other side, the door can either be open or closed. You can, for example, have a turret on the other side of the door hurting the tentacle, or you can shoot through the open door and hit whatever tentacle is trying to dash but get stopped because there's a door in its way. Weapons I would say are absolutely terrible in this fight. Spartan sandals for some reason do really badly here. Uh, you might be lucky and be able to kick a tentacle into a wall, but any kick versus conjunctivius does negligible damage. I will also shy away from using weapons like the war spear Things that don't have any air stall also struggle versus conjunct because she's often not on a level that you can actually hit her without having to jump. And finally, grenades can sometimes suffer in this fight. Uh, it's nice when you have a grenade that does ambient damage, talking things like fire grenade, magnetic grenade, stuff like that. But when it comes to powerful grenade or infantry a lot of times you'll miss if you're fighting her on a platform and if you don't it's still sometimes really low damage compared to just taking a fire grenade that can kill tentacles and apply damage to her just by going through a platform that's on fire now besides that there's really good reasons to go to conjunctivius even though it's a harder fight Conjunct actually gives the most the most scroll fragments of all the bosses. That is, if you're playing on 3 BC or higher, she actually drops up to five scroll fragments. So that means that killing Conjunct gives you one whole scroll on 4 BC+. Conjunctivius also allows you to go to the graveyard. And graveyard is a map that you have to go through to unlock the cavern and to unlock the giant. So eventually you have to go that way anyway. Uh, and the graveyard also has a curse. Uh, so if you do like getting curses, if you like to get that extra scroll, that colorless weapon, but you hate golems, then you probably want to go through Insufferable Crypt and fight Conjunctivius. Um, overall, I'd say it's not a terribly difficult fight once you get the hang of it. It's just hard to get out of here without dealing damage. And when you don't have a build that can really stick to the boss, it can get really tough. Uh, if I were to give like a recommended build, I would say using phaser, using things like the quick bow, using turrets like the flamethrower, crusher, or the sinew slicer. While survival, wolf trap does really well. Uh, the repeater crossbow does really well. Broadsword can also do kind of decently if you know how to get the upswing and the horizontal swings. But really, your primary focus here is just learning how to keep up with the boss. And if you have a shield, trying to parry that dash whenever you can. If you can get that down, then you're definitely going to enjoy fighting this boss a lot more often than you may have in the past. But other than that, I do wish you all good luck on this boss fight. If you still do struggle, let me know in the comments. If there's something that I missed, you can let me know that as well. Of course, if you like these kind of Dead Cells guides or any of the Dead Cells stuff we do, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, that way I know to do more and you can stop by to see more of it. Then of course, if you want to see me fighting Conjunctivius, feel free to stop by twitch.tv slash v.me. Other than that, you all have a good one and I will see you on the next video.